Evaluate the limit as x tends to 0 from the right of the expression 1 minus x raised to the power 2 over x. So let's start by rewriting this limit so that we can run through the plier's algorithm. We have 1 minus x to the power of 2 divided by x. Now if we plug in 0, we're going to have 1 minus 0 in parentheses, and the expression above will be 2 divided by 0. So in parentheses it's 1, and this is going to be infinity since we're taking 2 divided by a small positive number. Now 1 to the infinity is a type C indeterminate form. And that means we want to rewrite this using the exponential. So we have the limit as x tends to 0, e to the ln of the base, 1 minus x, times the power 2 to the x. And since e is a continuous function, we can move the limit from downstairs up to the exponent. And so we'll have e raised to the limit as x tends to 0 of rearranging a little bit here, 2 over x times ln of 1 minus x. And so this expression up here is where the limit is. Let's focus on it instead. We have the limit as x tends to 0 from the right of 2 over x times ln of 1 minus x. Now if we plug in 0, sorry, we can actually rewrite this um, since it's already a fraction as 2 times ln of 1 minus x over x. And if you can write it as a fraction, it's not a bad idea because that means it's closer to being type A indeterminant and you can use L'Hopital's rule. Well, let's see if L'Hopital's rule applies. If we plug in, we're going to have 2 times ln of 1 minus 0 divided by 0. ln of 1 is 0. And so we have 0 over 0. It's indeed type A indeterminant. And so we can hit it with the L'Hopital stick. So let's do this. We'll keep the original limit. The limit is x tends to 0 from the right. We'll replace the top by the derivative of the top. So when the 2 comes along for the ride, we have 1 over 1 minus x times the derivative of minus x. And the derivative of x is just 1. So now let's clean this up and see what the new limit is. We're going to have a negative 2 upstairs, a 1 minus x downstairs. And now if we let x tend to 0, we're going to have a minus 2 over 1 minus 0. That's negative 2. And since that's a number, that's the limit. But remember, it's only the limit in the pink part. This is just part of the limit process. If we wake the replacement, uh, the pink part with 2, we have e to the power 2 as the limit of the original function. And so our original limit goes to e squared.